We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All of this we ask you, who are at work in every place and time, in communion with the Father and the Son, for ever and ever. Amen. Hi there, I'm Shell, and I'm from Caritas Deaf Service. Welcome to this month's Bible study. The topic this month's a bit different. We're going to be focusing on Synod. Now, Synod, what is that? What does it mean? Well, the word itself is from two Greek words, meaning with and path. So the synod, for us it means we are journeying together, walking that same path side by side. And why are we doing this? Pope Francis has invited all the members of the church to think about how we journey together, listening to each other, but also listening to the Holy Spirit. So we're going to start today by looking at the reading about blind Bartimaeus. So Mark chapter 10, 46 to 52. Blind Bartimaeus. Jesus left Jericho with his disciples. There was a large crowd that followed Jesus. There was a blind beggar Bartimaeus, and he was sitting on the roadside. He realised that Jesus was coming with that crowd, and he heard Jesus from Nazareth was there. He started to shout, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. But the people turned to Bartimaeus and said, shush, be quiet. You should shut up. But Bartimaeus ignored them and he carried on shouting and shouting. Jesus stopped and said to the crowd, bring Bartimaeus to me. So Jesus said to him, get up, come here, Bartimaeus. Bartimaeus threw over his cloak and jumped up and came to Jesus. And Jesus asked him, what do you want from me to do? What do you want me to do? And the blind man said, Teacher, I want to see again. Jesus said, Go, your faith has made you well. And immediately, Bartimaeus could see again. And he followed Jesus with the crowd. So thanks very much, Pat, for signing the reading for us. Thank you. Just think about that story. Imagine yourself as Bartimaeus. Everyone's telling you to be quiet, to tell you to shut up. But still you're shouting because you wanted Jesus to come to you. How would you feel? Imagine yourself as one of those people in the crowd who was telling Bartimaeus to be quiet. But Jesus stopped you and said, no, let the blind man come to me. What would you feel then? Now our second reading is from St Paul's letter to the Ephesians. A reading from St Paul's letter to the Ephesians. I, Paul... 
I'm a prisoner of the Lord, because I follow the Lord. I ask you to live the way that God wants. Always be kind, humble, gentle and patient. Share your love with each other. Do everything that you can to keep together in peace with the help of the Spirit. There is one body, one Spirit. God wants you all to have hope. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism and one God. God is the Father of all people, the Father that rules over all, and the Father that is in all. Christ gives us each special gifts. The scripture says, Christ ascended to the sky. He took prisoners with him. He gave gifts to his people. But what does it mean that Christ went up? It means that first he went down to the lowest place in the world. And he is the same person that ascended to the highest of all the heavens. He fills the whole world with his presence. Christ gave gifts to different people. He gave gifts so that some people, they became apostles. Some, they became prophets and others to spread and tell the good news and others to work and teach. Christ gave them all different gifts so that all these saints work together to build up the body of Christ. In this way, we must work together with the same faith and know Jesus as, son of, as the Son of God until we become mature people and share in Christ's perfection. So thank you very much to Peter there for letting us use that recording. Thanks very much. So St Paul is writing to the people of Ephesus. The message for them is the same as the message for us today, to be kind, humble, gentle and patient, to share our gifts with other people. So thinking back over the last 18 months, what's your experience of your church been? Do you feel those people have shared their gifts with you? Maybe other people in the deaf community, have they helped you? Have we here at Caritas Deaf Service helped you? I hope we have. But what would you like to see different? St Paul has said that God wants all people to have hope. So has your faith helped you over the last 18 months? Maybe the faith community you were part of, the deaf community, have they helped you? Have you felt lifted up by God's grace? Your parish, have they included you? Has your parish included other minority groups? What would you like your parish to do different to include you in the future? I know it's a lot of questions, I know. They're not an easy answer, but we want to know your, your stories your experience. It's really important for us to know that. 
There'll be opportunity over the next few weeks, some time to share your experiences of, of your church or parish. Opportunity for everybody to be included and to journey together in faith. And now we're going to finish this session with a prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, I give you my hands to do your work. I give you my feet to go your way. I give you my eyes to see as you do. I give you my hands to sign your words. I give you my mind that you may think in me. I give you my spirit that you may pray in me. But above all, I give you my heart so that you may love in me, your Father and all mankind. I give you my whole self that you may grow in me so that it is you, Lord Jesus, who lives and works and prays in me. Amen. <laughs>